Coach, it was a tough loss tonight, especially uh, with the late overtime goal, but the resiliency of the guys really showed through tonight with that late third period push. Can I get your initial thoughts on today's game? Yeah, um, I thought we played exceedingly well today. You know, I really did. Um, obviously, you know, at times we had some breakdowns that gave them some opportunities, but I would shoot them 44-18. We controlled play. We controlled where it was on the ice. We were down on their end pretty much uh, most of the evening. Um, we were great on draws. I thought we were pretty good on just about every component of the game. Um, I was really impressed. We, you know, we came, we stuck right with it. We were two goals down late in the game. Uh, we've been bitten a couple times ourselves. We stuck right with it, and uh, I was really proud of them. And and uh, the three on three thing, you know, it's gimmicky hockey. I, I don't lose any sleep. I mean, we want to win. We're two and zero oh going into the night's three on three, so. You know, it, it's great when you win and when you get beat. It, it, I, it doesn't really bother me as much because it, it, it's gimmicky hockey. You know, it's just, uh, you know, you're playing for a break or a bounce to, to go your way. And it's uh, so it's a little different that way. But the reality is I thought the guys played tremendous tonight. And I thought there was a real team spirit. I didn't think we knew when we fell behind a couple, we didn't feel as though we, we just, you could tell guys were, we were buzzing still. And, uh, so, no, hats off to the guys. I thought they played really well tonight. And halfway through the second period, you ended up pulling out Ronnie Salmon Kangas, putting in Logan Stein. What went through your head to kind of make that decision to pull out goalies and get a new look at, at the goaltender position? No, I, I think at that point we'd only given up maybe 11 shots, and, and I just thought, you know, three goals on 11. Now I'm not putting that on Roney because um, it was, I mean, we, a couple of guys were not alone. So, I mean, that – but I just – you know, I, I don't know. I just felt we were playing good. I thought I thought we could be better than that, like in, in terms of uh, of keeping the puck out of our net. And uh, yeah, like I said, you know, we whenever you hold the other team to under 20 shots on goal, I mean, that's pretty darn good. And the team has a chance to right the ship this upcoming weekend against Michigan Tech. And what's going to be the uh, the opportunity and kind of the focus on practice this week, as you're going to be going into a pretty hostile environment with. A very devoted fan base, as well as a very good Michigan Tech team. Yeah, they are a very good team. Um, pretty much every team in our league is. Um, yeah, you know, I, I think we'll, we'll look at the film and see where the breakdowns occurred. Uh, that that did, you know, it's like when we when we did make a mistake tonight, we found a way to make a big one. Um, you know, defensively, where we, you know, all of a sudden we'd be in their end forever. And, not, and next thing you know, like guys on a breakaway. So we got to look and see. Uh, I don't know if there's one particular thing I would say uh, led to that. Um, I think what we'll do, though, realistically, is is look at a lot of the good things we did tonight and then try to reinforce that. I, I thought um, we were, like, earlier in the year, it just seemed like there was nights we could never get out of our end of the rink. Um, tonight, we had no issue. We, we'd get in, we'd get out, we'd stay, you know, we possessed uh, the puck in their end of the rink. I, you know what, I'm, I'm going to look – for what we did well, and then I, I want to keep uh, I want to keep preaching that. And like I said, we'll just look at a couple of things that where we broke down and try to figure out what happened in those. Coach, you ended up having 44 shots on net compared to their 18, still falling seven to six. Where it's, would you credit the, the the lack of goal scoring despite all the shots to NMU's defense, or was that more towards the game plan of getting as many shots on net as possible? Well, I think uh, I, I don't know what the percentage is. I'd have to do the math on that. I I, I, I would think. Um, you know, realistically, six goals on 44 shots is pretty good, too. You know, usually 44 shots, you're looking at, you know, if you've got a kid in, in net at 90%, you're looking at maybe four goals. So uh, I'm guessing their kid was probably around 860 tonight. That's that's pretty good. You know, I, 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 that's a pretty good percentage. I'll take that shooting percentage any night. Uh, and, and so, you know, I'm more concerned about you know, the seven we gave up on 18. Like, that's, you know, a little better than 50%. That's not so good. Yeah, and the last play with 30 seconds left, you end up pulling Logan Stein and going with six skaters on the ice and ended up getting that goal. What was going through the mind during the timeout of Northern Michigan and then being able to get on the ice and execute and get this game to a high end goal? Well, I, I actually thought the timeout worked on, on our favor. It gave us a chance to rest that one line. And then we just, you know, we set up a, kind of a rudimentary play there to see what we could get. And, and sure enough, you know, it. Not often do they work, but it, it worked. You know, we, 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 you know, for that to work though, uh, Merrick had to win the draw, 
and he did. I mean, it doesn't work if you don't get the puck off the draw. So he won the draw, you know, and it was a, a nice bang bang play from there. You know, it was it was great. You know, I was really happy. And while we, we you know we only get one point tonight, and they get two. You never know that one point might mean a lot later in the year.